Hi guys, this is Holiday Inflatable Fanatic, and today I'm not going to be doing an inflatable review, but I'm actually going to be doing a life-size animatronic review. And in front of me, I have the Jemmy, I don't know what year it is, but it's the Cauldron Witch. I got this off of Chase during the meetup, I bought this off of him. Um, I got this, plus um, C7 lights and two kaleidoscopes. Um, from him as well. I got everything for 180, which I think was a very fair, fair deal, fair, fair deal for both me and him. So I'm glad we were able to work something out because I absolutely love this thing. So let's take a look closer at the details and then we'll do a demo of her. Um, here's her face. So her face is quite interesting. So I was talking to Chase about this. This is, this face is different than the typical cauldron, which uh, face it's like a newer one of it like a, a newer type model or at least that's what he said so we're not exactly sure what version this is it's one of the hardest to find one so it's either, either the grandin road or spirit halloween one um but who knows i mean we really have no idea since we don't have the box for it um there are the eyes the eyes are super realistic on this guy that's what I'm most impressed with. It gives it a really lifelike appearance. The hat is really cool. It has this like uh, shiny uh, layer to it. And underneath it, it's just nylon fabric. And these pieces are also nylon. And then this is like some sort of, you know, like, I don't know, like black fluffy material. It's not exactly fluffy, but it, it is soft to the touch. Uh, she has a spider pendulum right on her chest. Uh, the spider on top is missing, but that doesn't bother me. The stick on it is actually still in one piece, and I know that's pretty hard to find. They're typically snapped, or one of the pieces are missing. So the fact that it's completely intact is really great. The hands are just a plastic. They're painted green, and then she has black finger fingertips or finger or nails. And there's a hole to the center. You just slide them onto the pole. Um, I did have to pin them to the to the hand because, or else, as she was spinning her cauldron, the sleeves would just roll back all the way to her uh, elbows. She does have a body shell, which is great. That's one of the huge advantages of buying an old Jebby prop is that they have that body shell underneath. It really gives it a lifelike appearance and it really builds shape, gives uh, shape to the body and the character. Her dress is that same material on the hat. It's just that, you know, soft black material. It is see-through, which is annoying, but if uh, I have time, I may put another layer of like black fabric underneath it to prevent it from being see-through like that. Down here, you have the cauldron, which I actually have on right now. Let me blow some. So as you guys can see, it makes a good amount of fog and it has the red LEDs right there. The cauldron itself is pretty big. This is my hand compared to it. It's not huge, but it's definitely a good size. And built into the cauldron is a little sensor right there. And on the back, this is this is the plug that goes into it and actually plugs into the base. Right there where it says 24 volts, if it will focus the camera. There it is. You got a try me jack, the actual uh, power adapter, on sensor, the button to collapse her, and the volume knob right there. And it does take two adapters, 124 volt, and I think, like, I, I forget the ampage. Um, sorry, it's not focusing again. And another one is nine volts, and I think it's 2,000 milliamp, I think. I'll have to double check. But yeah, that's pretty much her. She is fully working, cauldron spins. She sways back and forth, her head nods, her mouth works. Um, what else does she do? I think that's pretty much everything and she fogs. The only thing that's not working is her eyes. Oh, sorry. Camera almost knocked down my hand. But um, that doesn't, it, it doesn't bother me too much, but I love, would love to repair it. The only problem is that I would have to cut the mask off and right now it's, it's not cut at all. It's in great shape. There's no rips or tears in it. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. Although I would love to get the eyes working, as I said, I don't know if I want to take the mask off. So we'll see. Maybe down the road I will. But, uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's do the demo.
right? That's one of her phrases. This phrase will get a look up, close up look of her face. Bubbles, bubbles, cauldron bubbles. Come in here and you're in trouble. <laughs> Righty. Ooh. I believe that's all the phrases. There may be one more, so let's just play it again. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this thing. There is so much movement compact into it. It's really crazy. The motor for the neck is loud, but... There's nothing you can really do about it. It's just the mechanism itself. Um, I was taking a look at it and Chase was saying he, you know, put grease on the gears and you replaced, you know, the gears that were broken and everything. So it's just the way they are, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Uh, the best part, in my opinion, is the fog. I love the look of the fog. And especially, too, I'm gonna, going to be putting this on my porch this year, or at least that's what I planned on doing. So in the wind and stuff, the fog will be... No, uh, blowing all over the place and that's gonna look really really cool but yeah i'm so glad to have this guy in my collection she's absolutely awesome i can't wait to use her this year for my display let me know if you have any questions on her and once again it was an absolute pleasure to meet chase in person we had a lot of fun um i don't have many video clips if you want to check out our like, meetup video check out chase's channel so chase the inflatable god I may post a small video on it, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.